This is Codadoric, and we are drawing yummy food, of course. Use what you've learned and try to create your favorite food. Put your skills to the test. Try to create pizza, ice cream, or any food you want. So, I obviously created this amazing cake. And before you say it doesn't look like cake, I might control your grade. It is cake. Um, so, have fun with this, guys. Do whatever you want to do. Um, I kept with the standard size of all of these, and hey, I drew a lot. It's why I'm coming to you with it already done, because this will take a long time. It might be easier to read in block mode, but really I just moved the stuff around the screen until I liked it. Make sure to use your grid, right? And remember that squares draw from the top left corner. So 200, 200 is where I would put if I want to square here, uh, just to make my point with what I am saying. Um, sure. So 300, 300, top right will be this square. I just filled it with yellow. Remember, the fill has to come above the shape because you're telling the computer what color to use, then you're asking it to draw. If I put this down here, the computer's going to say, okay, I got to draw all of these in order, and they're all going to be gray, the default color. And then you say, hey, switch to light blue, and it says, okay, but cool, I'll do that. But none of these are going to be light blue because it's already drawn them. So the color has to come first. And again, code runs in order. So if I wanted this red thing in front of the orange thing, which is clearly the candles, obviously, I have to have it draw after. Because otherwise, it would be the reverse and one will cover up the other. Code runs in order. So a few things to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is supposed to be something that you have fun with. I'm excited to look at some of these if you're my student. And if not, I bet your teacher wants to see something cool too. So yeah, onward.